Hello guys, this is Code in Code and this is video editorial for the problem TMT document taken from div 2 uh, round 715B. Okay, the problem is taken from uh, Code Forces, of course. So the problem statement is you are given a string and uh, the string only consists of T and M and you have to find whether it can be uh, partitioned into disjoint subsequences such that all of the disjoint subsequences form TMT. Okay. For example, this, the answer is yes. This is the input string. The answer is yes because you can convert it to, t, uh, you can divide it to two disjoint sub, uh, subsequences and both will form TMT. How? See, T and this, the first T and the second M and then this one t so t m t and then this this and this so the answer is yes okay and this way we have to tell for any input string whether this is possible or not if yes the answer is yes otherwise you have to print no so let's see how we can solve this problem so there are two important observation first one is very very easy uh the number of m a uh, number of t should be twice as number of m right because we have to divide the whole string into uh subsequences and all of the subsequences must form tmt that means the total number of t must be twice the size of total number of m right this is observation number one now observation number two if you traverse the string from left to right what should happen at each point the number of uh, m found till now should be uh, less than equals to number of uh, t found till now so for example at this point number of m found is less than equals to t right even at this point because number of m found till now is 2 number of t found at this point is 2 as well so number of m is less than equals to number of t at this point as well for uh, even at this point right number of m found till now is only 3 number of t found is 5 so of course m is less than equals to t right why is that so see if number of m found till now is greater than number of t found for example if this t was not there or this t was not there what would happen there are more number of m uh, than the t required why because uh, m must have at least one t before it so that uh, so that we can form the configuration tm and the later t we would see whether they exist or not that's a different point but uh, to form tmt each m must have a t before it right so if at certain point number of m are greater than number of t traversing from left to right that would cause a problem because for some of them uh, there won't be a t to form pair with right and that is the second observation so traverse the string from left to right and see all of the m follow this condition same goes from right to left right and do this if the string follows these two uh, observation that we have found then the answer would be yes otherwise no so i'll be providing the uh, solution in the description of the videos which i was able to uh, get ac on so you can use the solution as a reference so yeah this was all for this lecture if you have any doubt or query or other uh, other way of solving this problem you should uh, share that in the comment section so uh, this was all for this lecture. Thank you guys for watching and until the next video drops, keep coding. Thank you.